Hey guys, Kurt Haas here from Hostile Conditioning. Uh, rode the 600. This is the uh, weekend workout, sometimes Sunday, sometimes Saturday. It's really because of Lewis and his uh, professional rugby playing schedule. Uh, so today we hit it on, on Saturday. And like I spoke about on my Tuesday video, my second uh, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday workout, I've been working a lot of heavy triceps. So I decided that with the meet coming up in about four weeks, it was time to back off on that second high max effort. So today was strictly volume, um, speed and volume. So you'll see in the videos, um, Lewis was working nice rest pauses at 315 and I was working speed close grips at 315 for singles. I did five or six singles there. Really focusing on getting tight, accelerating, accelerating, speed, speed, speed all the way through it. And then uh, Lewis moved on to the uh, dead press, which you'll see in one of the videos coming up. And same thing, he's, gone, he's going a little heavier than last week. He's tighter, he's performing better. We were talking about how one of my favorite parts in, in a workout routine, if you're following six to eight weeks, is I really like what happens from week three on because the first week or two, you're sort of just settling into it, trying to figure out exactly what weights to use. But also, it's a bit of a shock to the body. But I find by week three, you're starting to see some adaptation, some skill set, you're getting into your groove. And that's where the fun really starts to begin. That's where you can really start to push it and uh, focus on just the quality of what you're lifting is, but start adding some, some weight to it and some volume to it. So start pushing the performance side of things because you're getting into that groove. And that's roughly where uh, Lewis is with the dead press. So again, today, crisper, heavier, really good. His singles were really good on the rest pause uh, for the 315s. After I was done the speed, uh, close grip, I moved on to Swiss bar, sets of 10, dip grip. I'm really working on getting that shoulder better so I can get into the dips and uh, sets of 10. So in between every set that he would do, uh, I would jump on for 10. And because he was doing dead press with about a minute or so rest, I was following that pace. So the volume really started to kick in. So today I was really going for a little less stress on the nervous system, joints and ligaments. So I'm better recovered for a heavy Tuesday, but also the blood pump. So just get lots of blood in there, get a sweat going. Uh, so that went really well. And then in between, some of that stuff, I was working just a little bit of biceps, I'll show you that, just some concentration curls, just to keep the bicep strength in there and the balance in the arm for the pressing, super important. Uh, I wanna make sure that, you know, the whole arm, triceps, shoulders, and biceps are keeping up to the heavy pressing uh, so we don't run into too many issues of imbalances. And then after that, finished off with, I was doing band pull-aparts in between uh, my uh, dip Swiss bar pressing, just again, work the rear delts, try to you know, condition the shoulders and keep them healthier, keep them rehabbing. And then uh, we finished off with flat blade uh, push downs for volume on the triceps, double drop set. So 15 reps, drop the weight by two plates, 15 reps, and again, lots of blood in there. I could, I could go a lot heavier, but today I just wanna get the blood in there. As you see, I'm still sweating kind of out of breath because we literally just finished. And it was he goes, I go, um, and just get some volume in there. So just get that blood pump. So it's nice because uh, you know, you feel the muscles getting getting thick and you feel the blood going in there. You know you're sending nutrients in there. You know you're recovering from your last workout, but just letting the nervous system and uh, the overall joint stress and ligament stress idle down, getting ready for the heavier lifts. And that's what I'll be doing now for the last three or four weeks leading up to the meet October 13th, which is uh, a month to go from today. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, send an email over to kurthaas at gmail.com and uh, let me know what I can do for you and I'll talk to you guys later. Right through, right through, yep. Yeah.
Oh, like 10 reps, you'll hand it off to me. This way it's a good angle for me to get underneath it and start. Mm -hmm. 